crafters, I'm Daniela with Didi's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. Today's DIY is part of the 5 under 5 DIY challenge, Valentine home decor, and more. Make sure to check out the host, Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chick, and the guest host, Ellie from DIY from house to home and check out the playlist to meet other crafters and to get more inspiration. Let's jump right in and let's get crafty. Our first DIY is this wooden house that cost me a dollar at Michael's. I'm gonna be using this chalkboard paint that I bought at Dollar Tree. It is chalkboard paint, but you know what guys? It goes on kind of like chalk paint. So this is gonna work just fine and I'm just gonna give it a coat on the very front of my house. And what I'm doing here is I'm just using a baby wipe to wipe a little bit of the excess paint that I had and it's just gonna wipe it right off. We are gonna set the house to the side and we're gonna let that dry. Once it's dry, with these felt stickers from Dollar Tree, they are self-adhesive, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue like glue sticks well wait i'm gonna add glue with my glue gun and i'm just gonna stick it on my little house because i just want it to be really really secure on there so i'm just gonna add a little simple heart to the center of my house now i had these bubbly like stickers in my craft stash and they are letters and i wanted to add the letter i so it reads i love us and this is perfect for like if you want to represent this i love my family i love my husband or whatever but i thought this was so simple and cute stick around till the end so you see the final product on all my diys and the final look our second diy is jenga books that's what we're going to be making and these jenga blocks you can find at dollar tree and all i'm going to be doing right now is i am painting my blocks you can use chalk paint or acrylic paint whatever and i am painting all the sides except one and the first two are going to be white and i'm going to be painting other two white and the third set is going to be in red so these are just the colors of your choice i just chose these to make it more like a valentine feel which is what i'm going to be going for in the end you will see the final look um where i'm going to be using all these little diys that are so little cute and together they're just gonna look so perfect for valentine's day so stick around guys Once my blocks are dry, I'm going to be using this tacky glue, which is also from Dollar Tree. And you guys, it works perfectly. I was first a little bit skeptical thinking it wasn't going to glue, you know, because it is Dollar Tree. But you guys, it glued perfectly. Just set this on the side to dry and it's going to just be perfect for this DIY. And all I'm doing is I am gluing the Jenga blocks together. I do suggest not painting the side you are going to be gluing that way the glue holds better and it goes straight on the block and not on the paint but anyway guys if you forget to do that that's just fine and once um you're done just glue them on top of each other and they should look just like this and it's coming together so cute set these aside to dry and I am going to be using a paint marker in gold and I'm just going to be writing on it. I'm writing the word love. You can write whatever you want. Maybe you could write your boo's name or something, your family's or your kid's name. I am just writing love book. I am going to be doing XOXO and some little hearts to add that little detail and so it looks like it's actually books. Now with some twine, which I also had in my craft stash, I'm going to be using the very, very thin twine. I am just going to do like a little bow at the top just to add that rustic feel. And that way it looks like the little books are tied together. And you guys, this looks so adorable. It's so miniature. And this is the final look. 
once again stick around to the end so you see the final look and how it all comes together nicely our third DIY is a $2 planter and I did get this planter at Dollar Tree and um, I think this is the easiest DIY and the more simplest one that I'm going to be doing for this video. All I'm doing is with some acrylic paint, I am painting in white. Once that's dry with a pencil, I am writing XOXO and with a paint marker, I'm going to go over that and you can seal your work if you'd like with some sealer, but I'm not going to do it for this particular one, but you are more than welcome to do so for more protection on your paint. I had this little succulent at home. You can also find these at Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot. And I'm just gonna put it over and it's a cute little planter. Our fourth DIY is gonna be $1 felt heart. And all I'm doing is with some red felt that I already had at home. You can purchase this at your craft store, Walmart, Dollar Tree. I have already drawn a little heart with some carton and I am tracing some hearts and with my string I am just sewing it together leaving a little spot open and adding a little bit of cotton and I'm sewing that little part back up and that's it guys um, on that part but we're not done we're gonna add one little more detail So with the same felt hearts we used earlier, we're going to use those same ones and they are self-adhesive. So I'm still going to be adding some hot glue because I don't know, just in case it wants to come off. I am gluing the little hearts and this is the final look. Our fifth and last DIY is $1 marshmallows. And I think you've seen me do these on my Instagram. If you haven't, go check them out. All I'm doing is with some chalk paint, I'm gonna be painting them in white, adding a little bit of chocolate to the top with some like a darker brown. And um, this is very simple, guys. All you're doing is painting. And if you have to do maybe two layers, go ahead and do so. With your paint marker, you add a little cute face. and I I used the back of this sponge to do the little circle so they're a little bit more perfect. Add a little bit of lashes and a little tongue. Not sure if I mentioned earlier, but these dice are from Dollar Tree. These little sponges are from Dollar Tree. I love these sponges because not only do you use the sponge itself, but you can also use the back when you want those perfect little round circles. And for this one, just two little eyes and a mouth, and that is it. You can go ahead and seal these for extra protection. And now let's go ahead and look at our final reveal. And this is my tiered tray, all of my DIYs are going on my tray. I did add that little envelope, which I didn't show you guys how to do it, but it's kind of the same concept with felt. This is my second tiered tray and all of these little decors are Dollar Tree. Here are the marshmallows that look so darn cute and yummy. And these are the pictures so you can get a closer look all the little details like the gnome, the little flowers, um, they are from Dollar Tree. So you guys, this is all on a budget and it looks so, so perfect for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you wanna see next, if you have made these, if you do make them, tag me on Instagram. This DIY reminds me of 1 John 4.18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite DIY, spread love, kindness, and stay crafty.